collected. Let's see what messages come out for y'all. We're going to start with my purple oracle deck. Don't make anything fit. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you like the content that I put on this channel, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, take a moment to subscribe for your girl. All right, Spirit, what's the message? What message do you have? Voyage. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Now, right before I cut the camera on to do this, I was getting self-sabotage. You may be. So, I know I self-sabotage all the time. If it's something that I don't want, I self-sabotage. You have listened to your intuitive feelings, okay? Your body's receiving accurate messages from the divine. So, be careful what you ask for, child, because spirit will show it to you. Okay? It may be shocking. It may not listen to your intuitive feelings somebody could be um trying to get you to question that or you could be questioning your into in your intuition you need to listen to it some of you might want to take like a retreat just to get back in tune with your higher self because with this voyage you may have been through a lot or you may have experienced a lot in the last three though this it's giving pinnacles, so maybe the last three years. <coughs> someone could be from Australia, someone could be on a boat. Someone could be dealing with an Aquarius with the star. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Someone could be getting visited from their um like their ancestors could be visiting them through their dreams. This answer, ancestor wants to uh, gift you something. For some of you, it's matters of the heart. With these hearts right here. For others, there's some type of healing that they're doing. This ancestor is healing you some type of way. And it may cause confusion. These clouds is giving confusion. There could be something here with an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So some of you, this ancestor's coming up. It reminds me of a fucking mermaid. <coughs> this ancestor's coming up and they're healing you. For others of you, they're giving you some type of gift and it's matters of the heart. Or it could just be your heart's desires. But listen to your intuitive feelings. All right, so let's go ahead and break this in. Oh, here. What is this? It could be a king of cups trying to make life hard on you. That's definitely not for you. Whoever this king of cups is. Alright, spirit. What's the message? So you have the world card. So this is the ending of a major cycle and the beginning of a new one. You have new spirit guides coming in. We want to get acclimated with them. I feel like you can have a spirit guide that is a Leo. This person is going to be giving you strength to overcome something. That's what I'm that, that's, that line is giving me strength. Some of you also could be taking over something. Because I get the movie Lion King. Oh. What's that? The Empress with the Ace of Cups. That's that gift that ancestors trying to give you. Some of y'all are connected with like water goddesses. Mommy water or something like that. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. But somehow you have to listen to your intuition. You got the Justice and the Ten of Swords. So the Justice could have, or Libra. A Libra could have betrayed you. Like in my dream last night, I kept getting called to gov contact the government. Uh, could be something going on with the GBI. Take it how it's going to resonate. All right, what else, Spirit? They're trying to usher you in something that would be, I feel like it would be your heart's desires with the Ace of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles. Because there's something ending. 
Yeah, the hermit. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. Or this could be around your work. But I feel like spirit is telling you to go within. Because they're going to be these new spirit guys. They're going to be giving you a lot of messages. And you have to get uh, like acclimated with them. To figure out what they like and how they communicate. This is very specific for somebody. And Spirit said that's the truth. And then you have one of these ancestors. They used to work for, for uh, they were either in the military or had a like a high ranking government position. This um, eagle. They don't play. They don't play, okay? They want you to do a thing, you fucking do a thing, okay? Just period. They could even be, um, you could be Italian or something like that. All right, so this card says trust. This is a good time to connect with your spirit, guys. I just told y'all that. Look at that bottom line. Because you got to get acclimated with you. Because they one at the top. They ain't playing with your ass. They'll punish your ass if you don't do what they're telling you to do. Because they're guiding you through something. It's it's giving the energy. I watched um, Ariel. And, you know, he was the king of the water, right? And she was his daughter, and she fell in love with a human. And he wasn't having that shit at all. He said, well, I'm going to get your attention one way or the other. That's this, that's this ancestor up there. They're going to get your attention one way or the other. But let's read the card with this trust. The universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. There's a spiritual reason why you're experiencing this cycle. And this is a good time to connect with your spirit guides. Because you have four new spirit guides here. You have a Taurus. You have a Leo. A Scorpio. And an Aquarius. They're on the other side. These are not people in the physical. They're on the other side. And they're communicating with you telepathically. With the clouds right here. It's through the mind. So you don't have to listen to your intu intuition. And this one up here in the top corner, they're very, very hard. But Spirit is saying that you have ascended to a certain level for this, uh, this is an ascended master, for this ascended master to even be communicating with you. Also, you need to take something seriously. And you need to get acclimated with these uh, Spirit guides. Okay? Right here you have uh, manifesting. So you have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming to you soon. And an opportunity may come for you to showcase your talent. Now, specifically, the talent, okay, there's a Taurus, this bull. There's something about being on stage. This bull will be seen with you. This Taurus, um, spirit, God, ancestor, you know, take house, going to resonate. They're going to be seen with you. They're going to be getting limelight, and you're going to be getting limelight. And then this one up in the corner, I think that's the Aquarius. They remind me of the Nordics that I was picking up on yesterday. And then this one down at the bottom, they're giving you the strength. They're like some type of spirit warrior or something. They're giving you strength. And the one at the top is the one that do not play. If they tell you to do something, you need to do it. It just, it, it reminds me, I woke up one day and I, this video was in my feed and it said, you need to take the connection that you have with your ancestors seriously. Because, uh, let me just go tell y'all a little story. I had told y'all to go watch her reading and I was wondering why I was up, why was it in my recommendations? But for some of y'all, it's because it's a new group. You have ascended, you know, another level. And, and, and this one is an ascendant master. So for an ascendant master to be communicating with you, that's some of y'all might you may have a high spiritual rank, but I know there's something here that you have to take seriously. Now, whatever goes on in the spiritual, it manifests down here in the physical. But she was saying that also some of y'all may want to get an altar and show gratitude and show thanks and show up on time to meet with these. So they all right there. They are all right there and you need to pay attention to them. Mm, wow. Some of them are going to be teaching you new skills with this student right here. Work with a mentor to learn new skills. Well, 
this mentor is in the spiritual realm. This is crazy. Can I know the media? Because I said you and this bull, you and this bull will be doing something in, in the, something with spotlight. They're going to get the spotlight too. This bull will. So you have promoted with media. Step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't allow your talent to go unnoticed. Yeah, some of y'all are discovering some type of new talent that this ancestor's giving you, and you'll be on stage doing it. And this bull will be seen with you. So what the fuck is going on? Okay, you have spirituality here and beauty. Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Some of you, um, you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. And your finances could use some type of assistance from your angels and your spirit guides because they are all around. You're surrounded by these ancestors, these spirit guides right here. So I would just pay attention to them, child. They could be trying to get you to eat healthier. They could be trying to get you to rest. Some of you may be able to astral travel. They're showing you some type of new gifts or something that you're going to be implementing. And then once they show it to you or teach it to you, it reminds me of a story I heard. This lady said that this woman went under the water. Because this looked like a mermaid, y'all, just pure. But she said this woman went under the water and was gone. When she came back, everything looked different. She didn't realize she had been gone for seven years. But when she came back, she knew spiritual gifts. And she was told to implement them. So I'm not saying nobody went underwater. But I am saying I feel like some of you guys astro travel. Because this looked like the sky. But you could be connected with uh, a water guys, Mama water or something like that. Some of y'all have that ring in the nose. I forgot what you call it. But some of y'all have that right there. So, yeah, after they show you this, then they're going to be um, pushing in these new opportunities. And for some of you, it's relationship, like matters of the heart. For others of you, it's business. But I do feel like it's your heart's desires. But you have to be obedient. You have to be obedient. Because that one ancestral spirit God, they do not play. I feel like it's an ascendant master. They do not play. They don't have time to play. Yep, some of y'all see a new partner coming in. A chance meeting was no mistake. It was divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion to answer your prayer. So pay careful attention to the new people that we send into your life. You're going to recognize them by your sense of comfort and safety. Okay. <clears throat> what else, spirit? What's going on? Tell me what the ocean. There's something with the water here. Just period. This says the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into it is very healing, or it brings about a desired effect. Better yet, spend spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all your cares and your concerns. And then you have family. There could be something here with family. These kids, hold up. These kids are gifted. You see this baby right here? See what they got in their hand and what they doing? Getting I, a lot of people don't believe in, so we're not even gonna talk about that part. It just reminds me, I seen this show, uh, they had these little kids, all of them were really they had abilities, and they had them practicing certain things. I mean, look at this baby, this baby ain't even walking yet. Look at that. <laughs> this 
they had them practicing lifting things with their mind. First they started out with a feather, and then they went to a pencil. Now a feather, then a piece of paper, then a pencil, and then it just got heavier and heavier and heavier. And this baby's lifting whatever that is, y'all. Mm -mm. This could be some type of mystery school or something. Let go of the past and profoundly clairvoyant. So, trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as your physical sight. It helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. That's you. This is so weird. Okay. What I'm, I'm not going to talk about what I'm getting because, like I said, a lot of people don't believe in that. I'm just going to say this is, um, it's like you've been going back and forth your whole life training on this in the spiritual realm or something. But you see that little ball right there? The baby got it, right? And then, look, here they are, and this ball is huge, and it says profoundly clairvoyant. So the ball was small, and this woman was teaching the baby how to do this. And now this baby, this person is holding, they grown now. But, y'all, it's something like that going on. It says, have confidence in God, okay? You are a light worker, and it's safe for you to be powerful and take charge. No, it says, it's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. Create and look. With this creative uh, project, that's you working with the angels. So it's going to be different. Some of you guys will be on stage doing something with music. Others of you, but you see how they're like giving you these downloads coming through the top of your head. And you have shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh, fear-based energy. Because it will only go so far. If you're scared, it's only going to go so far. And I feel like there's much more that wants to come through. But the fear could be stopping it. Once you push through the fear, it's smooth sailing. Protect yourself from harsh fear-based energy by envisioning a cocoon of healing white light surrounding you. Visualize success. Some of y'all could be opening up to spiritual gifts that got you scared. You could be scared. Or... With this new relationship, this new partner, that can have you scared. Because these gifts, they're coming in from this ancestor right here. So there could be a new relationship that's coming in and it got you scared. You could feel it energetically and you're like, uh-uh. Because what was I getting at the beginning? Self-sabotage? You could be sabotaging something. And life purpose. Look at this man working with all them kids up there. The purpose of your life is to serve in ways that bring joy to yourself and others. Huh. This could be your life purpose, child. But notice the signs. The signs that you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs on your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. And let go of the past. This past life issue. The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Some of y'all have the ability mm, with this past life. You might meet somebody here this lifetime. You could remember a previous lifetime with them. And things could have happened. Excuse me. Things could have happened in that previous lifetime that could have you treating a particular person in a certain way. And they're like, I ain't done nothing to you, but try to be nice. I don't understand. But maybe you remember them from a previous life. The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. Now, something wants to come through for you. You have parents here. What else, spirit? Oh, yep, your heart's desires. What do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon them, your true desires, and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Because with this hoax, when I seen this card in this reading, I was getting spirit is putting like this is um 
divine intervention. And I feel like it's this ancestor that's doing this hope because you weren't ready for something. All right? And then with this patience, divine timing is at hand. It's going to require you to have faith while you are shown the way. If you feel tired or out of balance, the universe is forcing you to rest. Okay? Money may be slow coming in. There's something that... On this world card, these ancestors, these ascended masters, these spirit guides, you're going to have to get acclimated with them. So maybe some of you guys were like trying to push them out, block them. You can't, not at this level of the game. And this one, look at the look on his face. They're going to get to you one way or the other. You're going to listen to them one way or the other. This one's just here to give you strength. This one is here to be seen with you um, in the media or something. And we do have media out here. So whoever this bull is, they can be seen next to you or with you. Like if you're someone who, maybe you're someone who performs on stage or something, they right there. Okay? And this one do not play with your ass. This one is giving you the strength and this reminds me of a Nordic. All right, you guys, so I guess the best thing to do here is protect yourself from fear-based energy. Release your past, because you got released the past and past life issue. And listen to your intuitive feelings, but really get acclimated with these four ancestors. Spirit guides, ascendant masters, however you want to take it. This one is an ascendant master. For real, for real. It's something about they had... They had some type of position in the government or something. They had a bird eyes view. So you know how you got profoundly clairvoyant out here? I feel like you got this profoundly clairvoyant energy from this ascended master. There could be something with planes here. This one, this lion energy, you see the eyes. I feel like for this person, for, okay, so for this ancestor to be stepping in and giving you some type of strength, they be sad for you. Yeah, let me just pull some of these right quick, see what's coming out. Because it kind of look like this lion is crying. Oh, their eyes is watering for some child. Okay, this came out again. Mysterious recoveries from illnesses. As I said, this one, this ancestor heals you. And I said it may be mysterious or it may cause confusion as to how you was healed. See, that's what she's doing. Like she, y'all remember the movie uh, Avatar? Look like she is blowing something in you, child, and it's healing you. That's what it look like. It can happen at night while you sleep. <laughs> so you can just wake up renewed or something like that. Oh, somebody got some type of superpower. Spirit is saying, stay on your current path. Your energy can be seen. In indestructibility. We have an air sign here, a plant that burns and gives off uh, an odor that causes harm. Maybe that's what this ancestor was healing you from. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces too. Someone could be sending you these types of energies that I feel like this is coming from that King of Cups. There could have been some type of breakup, divorce, or somebody could have got fired or breaking up a contract or something. And you could have these life path numbers and you could be uh, this is like Hermit energy. Emotional independence. It's like Hermit and Nine of Pentacles. I said more spiritual gifts is opening up to you from these ancestors. So I feel like you're going to be spending time in Hermit. Getting acclimated with these ancestors. But you need to know that there's going to be a lot of distractions to keep you from this. And that's probably, yeah, 222 keeps speaking. That's probably why a lot of things happen while you're sleeping at night. 
because maybe it's just too many distractions throughout the day. You are definitely surrounded by your by these beings. Okay. And I feel like this is not going to come up until you be obedient with something. There's something that this one at the top wants you to do. All right, y'all. This was very different. This is not going to be for everybody. I promise you that, baby. Okay? More spiritual gifts is opening to you. For some of y'all, that's one of them. Listen, I just read the cards. That's it. I just read the cards, baby. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I, it says work hard in silence. Because I'm telling you, there's going to, yeah, and then there's the hermit. That's about that, uh, going within. Because there's going to be distractions. The devil use any and everything to distract you from getting these answers from your, for some of you, you could be in meditation, right? Getting ready to connect. With your spirit guides and some loud shit come through and scare you, get you. It's a distraction. So you're gonna have, yeah, that God is express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. You're gonna have to find a way to get in this hermit. Maybe you can take nature walks or some child. You got to find a way because they want to, they communicate, they, you're surrounded by them. But I feel like distractions have been coming through. It's keeping you from fully getting acclimated with them. All right. That is what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Till next time.